Hi, this is Derek Ward from DSLR Pros, and today we're here to talk about the FLIR TZ20R. So many times while doing an inspection or even with public safety, the ability to zoom in with a thermal camera is more important than we realize. One of the things about the TZ20R that makes it different than other cameras is its ability to hold resolution zoomed in. With this camera, we're able to zoom in 20 times and be able to read that temperature in post. There's many, many use cases that make this camera a better camera. One of them is when we're using the thermal camera on a suspect that law enforcement may be after, you don't want the suspect to know that the drone's in the air. So if we're in the backyard and we're putting a thermal camera on a suspect and identifying whether or not he has a gun, we're able to do that at a distance that the suspect doesn't even know the drone's in the air. When we're talking about resolution, one of the things that's important when we're doing a swift water rescue is to be able to capture that anomaly in the water. Very difficult to do because you only have a head and maybe some shoulders and arms above the water. With this camera, we're able to zoom in and actually identify that we have an anomaly or a rescue victim. So in search and rescue, when we're flying with a thermal camera, zoom is important because when we find an anomaly, we need to identify what that is. We need to verify, is this our victim or is this a false anomaly? So what we'll do is zoom in with this camera and be able to get the resolution we need to identify our subject matter. Using a drone on a hazmat incident is a very important asset to have. One of the things we need to do though is keep that drone intrinsically safe. Keep those spinning props, that electrical system away and out of that atmosphere. By having the ability to zoom in with this thermal camera, we can keep the drone away at a safe distance while still getting that thermal image. Radiometric is helpful for those who are doing commercial inspections, maybe on solar panels or windmills to be able to identify the exact temperature that you're looking at. So in commercial inspections, it's important for us to know what the baseline temperature reading is so that when we get an anomaly that uh, jumps out at us, we can verify that temperature to see if it's a higher temperature than that baseline. So that's all you need to know about the FLIR TZ20R. If you have any questions, give us a call or email us at sales at dslrpros.com or visit our website at dslrpros.com. My name's Derek Ward. Thanks for tuning in and fly safe.